click the screen to advance the game. Your choices will affect the outcome of the story. How's it going, YouTube? I'm Facecam Never, and welcome to Dysfunctional Systems Learning to Manage Chaos. This game looks very pretty on Steam, and it's only five bucks. It released uh, September 2013. I really like the music too. Let's just jump into it. I've never, like, I've never heard of the game until now, and I just thought it looks really nice. Working families across Britain are no doubt issuing a collective sigh of relief today as the legislation for a minimum wage increase of 50 cents passed in Parliament early this morning. Forget the narrator voice. I'm digging the music! Love this track. This bill comes after public outcry that the majority of Brighton citizens are without enough income too poor to make ends meet after a recent increase in food prices. The change brings minimum wage for workers working over 40 hours a week to 360 and a 367 an hour. Jeez, that is low. And workers working less than 320. Although welcomed by most, there have been stiff opposition towards the bill from foreign investors, primarily those of Gabria. Major Gabrian companies such as Uchko, Ujgo, and Nor Norkli have warned that wage increase would hurt Brighton's economy, arguing that the new rate would force more layoffs as they cannot afford as many employees. President Barnaby, who has been supportive of the legislation since the inception, retorted that well-fed employees are, were more productive and, and remind Ujko and Norkley, the representatives, that employing Brighton's citizen was still over 16 times less expensive than employing a citizen from their home country. Stocks did, however, take a mo moderate tumble after the approval of the legislation. President Barnaby assures citizens that the job should be only temporary, that markets will begin to rise after initial shock is subsumed. This guy has really suave hair, I, I just realized that. With this minimum wage increase, Barnaby has finally fulfilled the last of the campaign promises made during his 1523 campaign trail. Whether or not he manages to accomplish his 1527 goals remains to be seen. With that, we conclude our hourly business report. Next up, the latest entertainment news. Hey, there's the people from the main thing. Without a doubt, I still find it strange. Everything is strange. Bizarre. Really, if these words were nothing like my own, at least then I could appropriately flip out. Uh, that's nice, I guess. I don't really know what's going on. But no, they're similar. Too similar. I keep slipping into a feeling of normalcy, only to have that sensation of strangeness... Strangeness? Slap me across the face at the first sight of something weird. There are plenty of weird sights around to do so, too. Like, for instance, these advanced-looking televisions in this dis... Dec decrepit... I can't speak tonight. Looking building, which I can only assure assume Ow, I just slapped myself, that hurt. Is an electronic store. They are the first things I've seen since arriving in this world that actually look somewhat new. Fancy even. Up until now everything has been old. Ram shackle and various states of dis dis click too fast. It makes me feel very nervous. It's just so profoundly disturbing. Will I ever get used to this? I think that I will, some year or decade from now, and my mentor is any indication. Look at him, standing there so aloof, as if this were just another day to him, which yeah, I suppose it is, Mr. Suave Hair Man. What do I know? Nothing. Winter. Uh, there I am, I'm winter. Yes? What do you think? Uh, think about what? About what we just saw and heard. <laughs> he looks like he doesn't really care. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I like that contemplation face. To be honest, I wasn't really thinking about it. Me neither. We have that in common, Winter. Is she wearing a hoodie and short shorts? That's awesome. Winter, we've only just started. Please try to focus. Yeah, yes, yeah, I will. Sorry. It's just... <laughs> she looks uh, a little pissed. Well... I, I'm i still finding it a bit hard to wrap my head around the idea of destructive conflict. Well, of course. I was the same when I first started out. Oh, are we detectives or something? There aren't that many examples of conflict at all in our world. Right. You might even find it surprising that war is actually a word in our dictionary. Totally. Yet still, 
Winter, you'll come to understand conflict very well. Don't worry. After all, you'll be doing something... You'll be doing nothing but dealing with it. Yeah, <laughs> lame. Nice. Oh, wow. He has a really nice face animation, I guess. Well, anyway... You read the material in this world, right? It should have been your homework. Ow. She has homework? It sucks. It was. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Err, she didn't do it. I was tired, and honestly, I found punching the bubbles in my side significantly more captivating than the words in those files. Uh, that's when you know that you've achieved true boredom. When uh, soda bubbles carbonation interests you. The way they merge with each other and call up the glass is really in incredibly pretty. Uh, you're certainly pondering rather hard there, Winter. You must be whipping up a dazzling answer. Uh, she's trying to find a way to say what she just said, except make him understand. Brighton is poor? That's a fact, Winter, not a thought. Sorry, um, what I think is... I think... Nothing. Look, I've learned so far in class doesn't seem to be particularly applicable to this world, so I'm finding it a bit difficult to care. How can I care anyway? Besides all that, this is also disconnected from me. Plus, it's only my second world, it's for heaven's sake. I'm still flu-moxed by the fact that other worlds exist. What am I supposed to think when they just toss me into these places? Give me a pat on the back and say, be on your way, merry child. Uh, actually, here's the thought. What kind of name is Brighton? That's a stupid name for a country. It sounds more like a town. The town of Brighton. Population, 40. Er, blah! I'll scream blah at Cyrus and any other mentor who questions me like this. Okay, so whenever she does this face, I guess she's, um, thinking? I mean, I won't, but I would. I completely, totally, and so would. For now, though, an awkward and wobbling smile is all I can muster. Ah, I really like her haircut. It's very pretty. Blah. <laughs> uh, that's great. Well, whatever. <laughs> what do you think the next step is? Alright, cool. Winter, just remain calm and genuinely consider the question. Hmm. The next thing to do, we need to learn things that weren't given. Right. Sir, I couldn't ask my last mentor. Why are the dossiers we get before we come to these places so, so thin? Well, it's because they are simply compromised of first-hand information, noteworthy things and meditators that have gathered through observation and gleaned up prior trips of the world. You're lucky to even have that much. Sometimes you get to send, you get sent to worlds that have never been visited before. By worlds, do they mean legitimate worlds, or do they mean other countries? Because, like, um, Africa is a third-world country. Because I, I don't get it. Let me tell you, it's never fun when a surprise dragon flies out from behind a mountain or when you realize the person you've been talking to is really just a convincing projection, or worse, a robot. This is so futuristic, I love it. And they're dragons! Are there robot dragons? That's a stupid question, never mind. And once you start going into systems that threaten your definition of what being a world even means, <laughs> good luck. Okay, so people are worlds? This is so confusing, I love it, kind of. Maybe. Uh, then again, only experienced meditators have to deal with such things. You won't be going to any unvisited worlds, at least definitely not yet. Hmm. Okay. I'm at nine minutes, and this has been nothing but dialogue. I have done literally nothing but read the text. I'm very sorry if you're bored if you made it this far. Uh, I really hope something interesting happens. Really soon. Or I get to do something, for God's sakes. Oh. Another question. Why revisit worlds that have been helped? Winter, please stop asking questions. Jesus Christ. I mean, once order is in place, everything should be fine, right? I am... Um, I mean... That's... <laughs> that, that's called an ellipsis, I think. Cyrus frowns, but his expression seems more complicated than that. I say that because his frown is in alone. His eyes there is a glint of irritation directed at no one in particular. As any glint, it's gone in a second, replaced by another thing that I can't quite decipher. 
She's is like is she like really good at reading people? Part of me is curious as to what it is, but most of me doesn't care. I don't care either. I want to do something. Here's the short answer: because chaos cannot be contained or removed. Although it can be lessened by it, so it will rise again over time. Uh, I'm just as confused as you, Winter. Let's get on with it. Christ. Sir, are you saying there's no point to anything? I'm s- well, And I'm saying there's no point to this lengthy dialogue. I want to do something. I know I've said that several times now, but Christ. No. Chaos is not inherently bad winter. It just means by which all worlds are born and continue, even ours. Furthermore, it is the spark of evolution. It plays a key part in those mutations which allow life to grow and improve itself. I'd skip this, but I've never played this game before. Believe me. Furthermore, it is a sp Wait, did I just click? However, for life to succeed, there is... There must be... <sighs> I've been reading so much text, I can't read anymore. However, for life to succeed, there must also be order. It's, it's like... Hmm... Well, it's like how cells must work together and organs must serve their purpose. You see, a system where chaos is stronger than order is likely to collapse, just like an organism which is su succumbed to disease is likely to die. That's actually really deep. I like that. In short, we are not here to eradicate chaos, Winter. We are only here to keep it in check. Ooh. Oh. That's actually really deep. Anyway, where do you think we should go next? <gasps> um... Well, someplace a with a lot of information, I suppose. Well, me to get to thinking about such place. Oh, surprise, I'm done. The answer is so obvious, it's insulting. After all, I've already gone there during my first meditation. Oh, nice jump! The library! The... No, that's not... Why would we go to the library? You're a dick. I mean, I get your line of thought. Libraries can tell you a lot about the world's history, and I would bet there are some computers there too, considering the world we're in. Unfortunately, that kind of knowledge probably wouldn't be so helpful for this job. Well, what about scholarly journals? Reliable sources? I like how hard she's trying just to go to the library. That's very nice. No, I think we should find a bar. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, why? A bar? Yeah, I'm confused too, Winter. Is... Hmm. What is it? Oh, well, um... I just had a thought. Are bars, especially here, like library bars? I figured maybe you like to drink as you read, maybe. <laughs> uh, God dang it. Winter, stop thinking about life. <laughs> uh... You could have at least said please. Sorry. Bars here should be normal, as far as I'm aware. We'll head there because bars are where people go to talk. Oh, yeah. Cyrus then turns to walk away, as if it was the next natural thing to do. Well, it it, 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 it is not. I stand incredulously for three full seconds before realizing that we are supposed to move ahead. Pan. Oh my god, when can I do something? Is this like a text-based game? That should be fun. Well, here we are, walking along. Is this a street? Okay, these people, obviously... Oh, okay, I guess worlds means different planets, because they don't know what a street is on Earth. I've seen a few vehicles pass by, so I guess it is. Or maybe I should say that I've heard them, for they have been loud. They are pretty. Sorry, excuses for transportation, though. They have they have these grotesque metal propulsions out of their fronts, which bill of dark smoke and occasionally drip liquid. As if they weren't bad enough, mo most every frame of these things has a look of bludgeon team went wild on it. They were such bewildered things that distracted me from the matter at hand. Cyrus, is he not going to elaborate at all? Is he just walked off after telling me that people talk at bars? I look annoyed. I'm a little annoyed because I haven't done anything. It's 14 minutes. Thanks, Cyrus. I would not have guessed that people talk at places. <laughs> uh, thanks, Cyrus. Is he supposed to be teaching me? How can I learn anything with such a vague statement? Such a vague statement. I should quote that. 
Well, Winter, well, well, you need to go to the ice cream parlor, Winter, because they sell food, Winter, well. Goodness, how annoying. It hasn't been this annoying since orientation. Pestering me and staring at me. An annoyed and unlikable person, this Cyrus, with a reputation that, that I hear. I mean, seriously, don't people talk everywhere? Sir, don't people talk everywhere? Isn't that the sort of thing humans are known for in general? Well, aren't you snippy? Well, you're a vague, deep... Uh, never mind, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I like what, I like that she's walking like that, that's so funny. Oh crap, I just ruined everything, didn't I? I need to stop thinking so much, or let my thoughts snip out, slip out. Arg, I shouldn't have said it like that, he's my superior. <sighs> I like that sigh, that was so neat. I bet he'll lower my grade now. Oh, is she a student? Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to be. It's just a bit frustrating when you don't explain yourself properly. Oh, I thought I was mostly self-explanatory. Not really at all, sir. Well, maybe it is. I don't really know anything about bars. I've never seen the outside of one. Uh, that's right. We're really not into drinking back home, are we? I don't know if I would say that. Perhaps not everyone is the same. Well, bars are generally a place where people go to unwind. And the alcohol loosens their lips, so to speak. They'll talk about almost anything. Themselves, their troubles, and often the root of the problem will involve what is troubling the world's people. It's a useful place to visit. Wow. He has a really, uh, different way of thinking. Speaking of problems, what is the issue with the last world you visited? Pollution. Pollution's a problem here too. Care to fix that? Please? The world was kind of oldish and much, le much less practical than ours. They kept throwing out their stuff wrong and they had bad ways of making energy. Their water ended up getting poisoned and a lot of them were sick. Long term project, I assume. Yeah, my mentor had already been working on it a while before I came. I think it was around five months. Uh, that's so. Hm, I'm glad I signed a short term project. It'd be like something awful to get stuck in the same problem nearly a year. I agree, but I don't know about the way you said that. How long did you shadow her? Three days. I see. Dots. You've never had alcohol, have you? Oh, Jesus! That scared me! What? Oh, I saw a woman drinking and a little girl in a headlock. No, sir, I would never... I mean, I'm too young. Yeah, she looks like a, she's a teenager. I stop in my tracks. He stops to turn. I don't know why I went my narrator voice, and I haven't been doing that the whole time. If I go over an episode two of this, I'll just... Uh, oh my god, that's really pervy, the way he's looking at me. That's wrong, man. His lips then curl up into kind of an oh-ho-ho -ho expression. Oh-ho-ho-ing at my innocence, right to be defiled. It is creepy. I am uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable, too. Christ. <laughs> um, what a perv. No, you wouldn't do anything against the rules, would you? Is this a test, a trick, a challenge? Uh, no, sir. I would not. His smile is bronze at this, and my discomfort increases. You know, Winter. Each world you visit has its own laws, its own customs, and its own social graces. You're going to have to learn to make your mind a little more flexible if you want to succeed. I'm going to have you drink some alcohol at the bar. Excuse me? Yeah, she's a teenager, dude. What the heck? I don't want to. Besides, I'm underage. It's against the law. Well, winter may culture suit, you will be expected to drink, even at your current age. You should be ready for that, and you should know the effects of alcohol is in yourself and others. What? He's telling me to break the law? Well, no, no. That is completely out of my comfort zone. I probably hate alcohol even, right? I do not want to do this. I mean, I know we're in another world, so it's not really the law, but... No, this is my conviction. I was born and raised to a set of rules, and I think it would be best to live by them. It's like what I learned in class. 
One might think it is best to try absorbing all aspects of cultures met. However, it is not advisable. In absorbing a culture, you run the risk of becoming absorbed by that culture as well. Mediators should not forget who they are. I've been saying that as meditators the whole time. It's mediators. Meteors. Mediators. Mediators should not forget who they are. I am Winter Harrison. I will not be shaken by this. She looks like she's about to take a stand. Like, she's about to whip Cyrus right up in his pervy face. I don't think I can do that, sir. Winter. That's an order. This is part of your training. If you do not drink alcohol at the bar, I will be forced to fail you. What? That isn't... Hmm? That's not allowed. You can't make me do anything. I most certainly can. I am your mentor. Only for today. Only for today, and you aren't always going to be that. Besides, you can't threaten me because because I have my convictions, and I won't forget who I am. I'm right. I can tell I'm right because my cheeks are flushed, my heart is pounding, and he looks wounded. Aw, she's embarrassed. That's, that's so cute. I'm sorry, Winter. I heard him. I struck out against him, and he knows he's wrong. It isn't just enough that he's hurting inside, though. I need to teach him a lesson. I need to knock it into him. Are we going to smack him up? Oh, the tables are going to turn. Therefore, I will raise this trembling arm and trembling fist. I will raise it and grit my teeth, and I'll... And I'll... I'll punch him right in his pathetic-looking chest. How about we go a little up and punch him in his face? His not caring face. Ha! Pat. What? Winter, what is this? I... I'm rebelling against you. Did you just punch me? I nod my head quickly with purpose. You did. What does it look like? My fist smashed your ribs, didn't it? Aww. Well, smashed is... All of a sudden, my hair goes, path, as if something heavy has lightly fallen on it. I glance up to find Cyrus resting his hand on my head. Although I know what he's doing, in fact, I just said so, I'm still compelled to ask, what are you doing? Winter, fine. I won't force you to drink. You mean you can't. I mean I won't. Get together, Winter. I will, however, put a forth a stern suggestion. It would be very wise of you to drink. It will help you ease into the taste of another place. I know what they've taught you, and I'd be lying if say to ignore what I've learned. Just remember, the way is worded. You're allowed to let yourself go a little. Just don't forget. I haven't forgotten, and neither have you, it seems. But you shouldn't be afraid of stepping outside yourself, if only for a little while. In a sense, that's what you're doing already in being here. So I urge you, Winter, have a pint. I... I'll... just a little. I thought I would have a choice. Good night. Hmm. Well, there's a bar. Come on, Winter. That's a bar? What makes it any different from the other stores? It looks like the same from the outside. They don't seem pride themselves in distinction out here. I've had... I've run my hand through my hair and grimace. I wonder if since all the storefronts look like this, maybe they're all bars? What a terrible thought. What if this is a culture which loves to drink? I would be expected to drink a lot? I hope not. Warily, I began to follow Cyrus. Uh, what am I doing? This is so illegal. I wonder if I can report this. Okay, brace for it. No amount of alcohol tinged breath could be enough to prepare me for a bar's smell, surely. Mother always talks about how awful bars are and how that's why she only ever drinks at home. Sweaty and piggish and smelling like failure. That is the story of any bar's life. This can only lead to misery. Slowly, I part my fingers over my nostrils. It does not smell at all. What? And there's no one here either. I, I bet they're uh, closing shop because it looked like sunset when we came in. Cut that out, Winter. You look ridiculous. I like the music. Hey, leave me alone. I've been misled. 
Slowly, I put my hand down, but without glaring at Cyrus, he ignores this, of course, and walks over to an empty table to have a seat. He then pats the top of the chair next to him, inviting me. Well, whatever. I'm such a teenager. Alright, so, uh... Yeah. I follow his lead, still conscious of this place. I notice how there's only a few people here, although it's lunch hour. What do you imagine that means? Most of the people here really like to work? Or maybe they really have to. Well, it's probably a good thing that the place is empty. Too many customers might be a bit overwhelming for you. It can also make it rather difficult to actually find out anything. I see. There's only four other people in the bar besides us, all of whom are men, and thrice my age by the look of it. The two who seem to be customers are dressed in a rather rough manner, but they've walked out of a construction site. I'm not the type to pride myself on appearance or anything, but I actually feel slightly embarrassed for them. They aren't the first world to look so deplorable, though. In fact, I would say they look fairly good in comparison. Most people I've seen have picked their outfits from a pile of rags. Thankfully, the other two, both in uniform, are very presentable. The waiter, or he's probably the waiter... What? Looks rather spiffy. I like that word, spiffy. And then the man behind the counter seems quite clean dressed. So this world is not entirely hopeless. But enough about men in clothes. The wall behind the counter is far more interesting. There are two lengthy rows of widely varying bottles, some round, some square, and some outright peculiar. Admittedly, I am enticed. Only for a second, I assure you. After all, I have been told that alcohol tastes like piss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I have been told that alcohol tastes like piss. That's so wonderful. Uh, oh, can I save right here? Uh, I think I am going to end it there. We're going on 26 minutes. I think this is a good place to stop. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Well, leave a like if you like a lot of talking, because that's what this is. If you really liked it, leave a favorite, and if you thought this was the best things you've ever seen, please hit the subscribe button for more. Thanks, and have a great day.